Hello class 3, welcome to offline virtual class. So we are today we are starting chapter 2 and the topic is devices of the computer. So before starting chapter 2, let's revise chapter 1. In chapter 1 what do we read? About computer. Okay, chapter 1 about computer. In that chapter 1 what we learn? We learn about the definition of the computer. That computer is a smart machine. Okay and the parts of the computer basic part of the computer like keyboard mouse monitor cpu and moreover we learn about what what computer can do like mathematical calculation we use draw we use watch video play game something like that and we <coughs> learn about uh, in which field computer are used like these okay now in chapter two what we are going to learn we are going to learn about the devices of the computer okay let's start from the first paragraph in first paragraph what it says computer is an electronic machine that performs several tasks according to the instruction given to it so this means as you know that computer is very smart okay and it does not work itself okay it can do several tasks many tasks at a time but when we give any instruction at that time only it works okay if you turn on the computer and if you let it be then computer will not do anything okay you have to give instruction you have to give command and it will work each component perform specific function in the computer okay there are lots of components in the computer okay and each and every component will work it's one okay they have a specific task okay this means monitor cannot monitor it cannot be used as typing something like that okay if you have keyboard in keyboard you cannot do you, you cannot see the visuals something like that but each component will work according to its task okay all the components together make a computer system so this different different types of components like keyboard mouse monitor come together and become a computer okay the internal design of computer differs from one model to another however the basic component and their function are same for all computer each part of the computer performs different functions so this means there are different types and models of the computer available in the market okay some desktop some laptop in desktop also there are some low quality less speed one computer another is gaming computer visual effect computer high-end computer there are different types of computer but the basic task is same every computer has its basic task basic function and their components does the same work all right so let's go to another a part of the computer that perform a specific task is called device so computer is a combined one but it's part of the computer works differently okay so there are four main types of devices in computer they are so how many types of device are there mainly in computer four how many four and they are one is input device another is processing device another is output device and memory and storage device how many components are there four okay input processing output and memory or storage devices now you can see there in the picture also input device means what there you can see joystick keyboard and mouse processing means this is a cpu chip okay output means printer and monitor is there and another is storage there that's the picture of hard disk and cd dvd okay this is the first page let's go to next page okay in next page first let's go through the input devices input devices are the part of the computer which are used to give input to the computer. You can give data and instruction to the computer. Some of the commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, webcam, microphone. Okay, what is input device then? Input device are the part of the computer, very primary part of the computer. That is used to give input to the computer. Input means typing, clicking through the mouse. When you type something, that will take by the computer. And display on the monitor okay so there are some other basic part of the input devices basic input devices they are keyboard mouse joystick joystick is used for what playing games 
and scanner scan means to scan a document photo something like that and webcam as you know you can see my uh, picture over here you can see my photo that is because of the webcam okay another is microphone microphone why you use microphone to listen music or sing a song something like that now let's go thoroughly okay detail wise number one is keyboard as you know you can see in the figure you might also have used in computer lab or at home keyboard keyboard is a primary input device of the computer what is primary primary means the basic very much important if there is no keyboard then you cannot operate any computer okay that's why it is called primary it is used to give instruction and to enter data into the computer so what keyboard does it used to give instruction like what we do in keyboard we do control s to save okay we do control w to close the document we do alt f4 to shut down the computer those are the inputs instructions okay when we give those commands or instruction then computer will act computer will do its job okay there are number of marked characters and letters in the keyboard so in keyboard what you can find keyboard there are alphabets there are numbers there are function keys 12 function keys there are arrow keys okay special uh, characters are there and number pad is also there so there are lots of keys around 106 in a standard keyboard so when you press any key on the keyboard the mark character appear on the screen so whenever you type something a b c d or one two three four it immediately comes to the where on the monitor okay so keyboard is a primary input device next one is mouse mouse is also a primary input device of the computer okay primary means this is a very important one basic one without this mouse you cannot use or play any game or give any instruction or command okay it is also called what it is a pointing device also called pointing device used to point object on the monitor so whenever we use mouse it will the pointer will go on the monitor and we click it isn't it so it's a pointing device with the help of the mouse you can give commands to the computer so when you have a mouse so you, you can give the commands like uh, click on start start the game double click single click right click something like that next one is joystick joystick is an input device used to play computer games okay used to play what computer games so normally you have seen joystick okay it is used to give commands to the computer while playing computer games okay joystick now there are lots of wireless joystick also available in playstation game and other games so you might have seen properly now let's go next one is scanner scanner have you seen a scanner a scanner is used to do what used to scan the newspaper or book whatever you have photos something like that scanner is an input device it can copy images printed text hand drawing or an object it can send to them to the computer suppose you have a drawing on a paper and that you want to put on the computer the scanner helps you to do this so in simply it is also an in, in, uh, input device so a scanner means if you have a old photos or any document you have and you want to put inside the computer then what do you do you just keep in the scanner and when you scan it that picture or that uh, that picture or that uh, magazine whatever you have uh, in the scanner will be transferred to the computer in the image form picture form okay next one is web camera web camera is also known as webcam and it is an input device okay it is also input device it takes photo and sends them to the computer it can also take videos and put them into the computer so web, webcam means what whatever you are looking at my uh, picture or not video or not that is because of the webcam so what webcam does it captures the photo also and video also and keep them in the computer next one is microphone microphone is an input device used to input sound into the computer with the help of the microphone you can record a speech and song into the computer so what does microphone does microphone all mostly you what you do is you listen the music but the main microphone does what you can record the speech whatever i am speaking that is recording in the computer okay that microphone is helping to record the speech or you can sing the song also 
okay this is a basic input devices now let's go to the processing device processing device are the part of the computer which are used to process data into meaningful information so processing what is those whenever you type something it goes directly goes to the where source from where monitor so how it came it is because of processing device when you type something that goes to the cpu and it will cpu will process and immediately it is displayed on the monitor so how fast it is okay computer is that's why computer is very fast the central processing unit cpu is the main processing device of the computer so what is this processor this central processing unit cpu is the main device okay that do all the processing work the cpu is located on the motherboard inside the system unit so where this cpu lies cpu lies in cpu box inside monitor okay, uh, inside motherboard sorry not monitor inside motherboard in the motherboard there will be a small chip about one inch so that is the main cpu so cpu also contains three main parts they are so cpu has actually three main parts that is cu alu and mu one is cu control unit another is arithmetic logic unit and another is memory unit okay this three part works together and does the processing now let's go to the next one output devices okay let's see output devices output devices are the part of the computer which are used to show the result for pro of processing so whenever computer does any processing it directly gives the result okay that result is output devices shown by as uh, shown by or given by output devices and with the help of the output devices you can get processed result of the computer some of the commonly used devices are monitor printer and speaker so whenever computer processes the result should be displayed somewhere and that is what output device first one is monitor from monitor we can see the result another is we can get the result from the printer as a printed form or we can listen the output from the speaker okay first one monitor let's go to the monitor monitor is a primary output device of the computer it looks like tv screen it shows the process result of the computer this output is called soft copy output so first one monitor i think you all have seen the monitor so monitor is just like a tv okay tv screen and it shows its function is what it shows the processed result which is done by cpu it will display the result okay and this monitor is also called what soft copy output device next one is printer printer is also an output device it is used to print result on paper this output is called hard copy output so printer is also another type of uh, output device but what is it also called it also display result but it is called hard copy output device clear next one let's go for the speaker okay speaker is an output device it produces different sounds from the computer as an output with the help of the speaker you can listen music and song from the computer so this is very easy speaker i think everyone has in mobile there is speaker in laptop there is a speaker okay in every device there there are some sort of speaker so what it does it gives the output as sound okay sound so that you can listen music song okay like that now next one is memory and storage devices all the part of the computer which are used to store data and information are called memory or storage devices some of the commonly used memory devices are ram rom some of the commonly used storage devices are sd hard disk floppy disk cd rom dvd and pen drive so memory as you know you you all know the about the memory okay you can see the picture also here actually there are two types of memory one is internal and another is external why we need, need memory because whenever we do some work in the computer we no, need those things in future also that's why we save it on where on memory so there are two types of memory one is internal that is internal memories are ram and rom random access memory and read only memory and another external storage uh, external memory means there are lots of one is hard disk also called sdd floppy disk cd rom cd rom means compact disk read, read only memory dvd means 
digital versatile disk and pen drive and normally everyone has seen pen drive okay so you can see the picture also this is this ram and rom are primary memory and this storage devices means secondary memory hard disk is there floppy is there cd rom dvd pen drive is there okay now let's go for another okay students now let's look at the exercise one number is what match the following so the first picture can you see okay this first picture is a cpu okay the picture of the cpu what cpu does is the last one processes data into information okay likewise second one is scanner what is the function of scanner you just make the straight line to its function third one is microphone the fourth one is printer and the last one is hard disk okay answer you can do yourself the answer match the following and next one is two number let's see here complete the following crossword puzzle with the help of the given clues okay this is a puzzle okay clues are down look at here one is down one number you can print out on this it begins with p okay what is the answer you can print that means begins with uh, p means what answer is printer so down that is the down means you have to do vertically all right the answer is what p for printer okay likewise you do other also cross puzzle next one let's see write i for input device p for processing device o for output device m for memory device and s for storage devices i think this one also you can do the first one is this is a memory okay first one is memory you have to this is a primary memory ram a number is ram primary memory so you have to write here in the box m okay likewise look at the other pictures and do it okay next one is answer the following questions what is a device of a computer a number okay what is the device of the computer anyone knows okay device of the computer is that component that does a specific task okay likewise like a mouse what is the mouse it points there will be a pointer on the monitor so it points it's a pointing device likewise okay b number name four basic type of devices you know that what are the input devices do all this question answer and answer answer is very short no need to worry five number is write full form of the following first one is cpu what is the full form of the cpu central processing unit okay b number ram ram means random access memory okay likewise you can do it the other full form also okay this is exam and this lab activities collect the picture of the difference computer we will do it later on maybe in the dosami vacation okay not now this lab activities you don't need to do right now maybe in the dosami vacation okay class this much for today okay if you have any confusion just write to me in the messenger thank you class